This is Barry and Eric again, and uh, we're out here with an old friend today. I'm sure you noticed this uh, very um, familiar silhouette as being a High Point C9 pistol. Today we're going to be basically putting it through a small battery of honest tests, some basic accuracy testing, um, you know, just good functionality, right. see how it runs. And uh, we, we know what the guns are capable of. We know they're tough guns. We've already established that. Uh, we failed on many attempts to destroy the gun with doing all kind of insane things. Uh, if you guys haven't already, check out the High Point Ultimate Test, and that'll show you a lot of the crazy things we did to these. In our initial test of the gun, we were very unfair. We might have initially um, looked at it from a little bit of a bias standpoint, as Correct. basically we hated the gun Correct. from the start, start of it. Um, but we're going to give it an honest, uh, thorough evaluation, and, uh, you know, just just treat it like any other gun review. Right, the so. gun that we used before was a used gun. We had no idea how many rounds had been fired in it. And uh, we took it out four times. The first time we thought it was gonna blow up, it didn't. The second time it didn't blow up. The third time it didn't blow up. The fourth time, we had to do something that would explode any gun. We filled the barrel uh, with powder. We put a primary case in it and put a 3 8 inch bolt driven down into it. And uh, we prevented it from opening. It had to blow up. We, we made a nine uh, millimeter pipe gun out of this. It would have blown up any gun. A high point for the money. I've changed my mind about them a little bit. If you can't afford anything better, this is this is something that'll save your life right here. Yep, and it's definitely deadly. I mean, a nine oh, yeah. millimeter doesn't know if it's getting shot out of a out of a six hour, a Glock, right. or a high point. I mean, a nine mil is a nine mil. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some real life. Uh, accuracy test with this weapon just to see just exactly what it will do. All right, let's All right, get started. Let's do it. Yeah. I've got a round in the chamber on this high point. I've got the safety engaged. I have the magazine out of the gun. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to test the safety. Safety works. The high point has a magazine drop safety. The gun is not supposed to fire with the magazine out of the gun. So we're going to test that. The safety's off. The magazine is removed. There's a round in the chamber. Gun will not fire. So the gun passed those two tests. We're going to try just a uh, basic accuracy test. We've got some bowling pins here. We're at basic handgun combat distance, about 7 to 10 yards. See if we can hit anything with them. Failure to feed. Failure to feed. What ammo are you shooting, Eric? We're using, I believe that's just Remington 115 grain ball. All right, we're going to move on. Might try some just basic accuracy testing. I mean, once you get on top of the sights, the gun slings them right in there where they need to be. I mean, on a human being, all of those shots would have been right where they need to be in the kill zone. It would have, would have killed someone. Now, we'll group it. we got an FBIQ target. We'll group the gun with some more ball loads. And, uh, you know, maybe the gun just needs to be broke in some. We're going to shoot it some First more. initial go with the high point wasn't bad. We have one failure to feed. We're going to try it again with the same exact ammunition, same magazine. One thing right off the bat that I'm not crazy about with the high point in general is it doesn't allow you to have a good thumb purchase on the slide because the slide of course is just this big mass here that moves. It's not a lock breech gun. It, the, the slide is held closed just by the weight of it. That's why the guns are so heavy on the slide end. Other than that, they're not bad guns, but let's group it and see how it does. You got an FBIQ at about eight yards. Failure to feed. All 
right, there was my first initial go on the high point. And bear in mind, that's really the first time I've tried seriously shooting these things for accuracy. That's just offhand accuracy. I mean, that would definitely all be in the kill zone and that would be, you know, for defensive purposes, good enough. We are gonna do more work with the gun. Bear in mind, we have had two failures to feed so far. We're gonna try some different ammo and see if it clears that problem up. All right, Barry is going to group the high point C9. He's gonna use power balls. Power balls are a popular option for guns like high points and other pistols that tend to not feed hollow points well. That's pretty much the intended purpose of the power ball, correct? Correct. All right, whenever you're ready. These are plus P rounds as well. 100 grain plus P, the high point is ready for plus P ammo according to high point. We shot these in the gun before. Let's see what this one will do with it. Felt like a lot of horsepower there. All right, there's Barry's go with the uh, power balls. Bear in mind, that's a really hot round and they tend to string anyway but, you know, threw him into a somewhat respectable spread. I mean, that would have definitely hit what he was aiming at. He was shooting pretty quick, too. I'm going to try to do a head shot on it. Yeah, I was watching how this whole thing unfolded, and uh, that first shot went right in the jugular, and the second one hit him right in the eye there. And yeah. then he threw a pretty respectable string over there to the right. We might try adjusting the sights on the gun, but uh, not bad. All right, I'm going to very quickly explain these loads that we're about to shoot. These are actually black powder loads. They're loaded up on 4F pan powder, pure black powder, and we're using a, uh, a heavy cast bullet. Now, bear in mind that a 9mm is not designed to use black powder, never was. It's kind of an experimental idea, we're playing with it. The high point being a blowback design should run it. Um, we're going to run some of these. But first, I do want to show you, I've got some rare Civil War footage of General Lee firing a high point with black powder loads. So we'll check that out. a no-go. That is a no-go. Don't like it a black powder. It ain't gonna go, is it? All right. I don't think, I don't think it's got enough oomph. All right, there's where General Lee was throwing in the uh, black powder loads. Not horrible accuracy, but uh, definitely a novel concept at best. Threw him right in there, didn't it? Yeah. Self-defense range. This gun shoots pretty good. Stove pipe. Stove pipe and a failure to feed. We're discovering these high points like hot ammunition we have people coming in the shop all the time saying this gun is unreliable what they do they buy a cheap gun and they go buy the cheapest ammo they can put in it this gun i guarantee you will function with those powerball this gun likes hot ammo this stuff from walmart remington white box uh, uh, or yellow box or whatever is not going to run this gun reliably we've had this encountered this many many times over the years this gun likes hot ammo all right, I'm gonna try the same rapid fire drill. This time we're gonna use power ball. Ran fine. Runs fine with hot ammo. With hot ammo. All right. See if I can ring the gong at 100 yards of the high point. I think this is kind of like throwing a uh, pencil down a hallway, but we'll try. <laughs> 